may profits be upon you. On your screen right now is the video that I put out this morning that was a little bit late. I apologize for that. Uh, for a pre-New York session, uh, it was actually, you see what time it is down to the, the, the uh, you, you'll see what time it is uh, when I uh, show the bid. Uh, it's like just a few minutes after New York session had already opened, had already started. I started the video uh, a little early, or early, a little earlier than that, but uh, I got it out late. Anyway, I did not get out the the uh, the trade late though. That was the key. Now, in the video, I go through my analysis, and the first thing I'm saying is, yeah, I'm. It's a bearish market, and I am bearish in this market. However, and I went most of the video, most of the minutes of this video is spent telling you why I don't believe, you know, I'm, I'm having a hard time believing price is going to go down lower. I'm thinking that there might be a, a, a case, and I made the case that price will go higher. And the thing I mentioned was there's some uh, business to take care of up here before it reaches this lower target. I'm going to play a little bit of it. Hold on. Do I trust that price wants to go down lower just yet? Not with that kind of break. No. Not with these breaks to the outside. No. It's just struggling to get lower. Why are we rejecting so hard here? And then the respect of that rejection, right? Why? Why? I think it's because there's unfinished business up here. And uh, I'm looking for, uh, actually, in my head, I'm looking for that high to be broken and a pullback, and we may be able to see uh, some kind of entry. But that's it. But I, I want to tell you, you know, I went both sides on that, right? And I, I might have confused some people. Because <laughs> I was like, listen, it's a bearish market, but I'm thinking it's about to turn bullish. You know, it was it was hard to negotiate between the two. It's hard to massage that, but I was I said in my mind, I'm looking for price to go higher. And it did. And I want to show you something. I want to show you the trade that we took. All right. Uh I noted that the equal lows were swept and we had a bullish, uh a bullish response. Uh, after every uh, sweep of liquidity, especially at lows like this, where you you can expect some kind of pullback. All right, doesn't mean it's going to happen immediately, but uh, I expected one. All right, and this is on the 15. And what I mentioned in the video, I was like, if price is takes out this high, all right, like so, I'd be waiting for price to come back and whatever. All right, we look we look to take it up. All right, but this is not the change of character. On the 15 minute, it might be, all right? But I went down to the five, right? I'm looking down to the five because we understand that a change of character is an early warning sign, not like a break of structure. It is an early warning sign, an early indication that price is about to change from bearish to bullish momentum, right? There's going to be a market shift, all right? But uh, it's an aggressive uh, 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 entry. It's an aggressive uh, signal for aggressive traders. If you're going to enter off of a change of character as opposed to a break of structure, here would be that uh, on the five minute, this would be a break of structure for me. All right. This would be the higher time frame, 15 minute uh, break of structure. All right. But I'm looking now, you know, the first thing I'm going to look for and scout is a change of character. All right. And I'm looking for uh, something to go along here. Right. Uh, I'm just going to mark if price breaks this if price breaks that. I'm going to be looking at this low to see if it gets respected. If the pullback doesn't violate that low, I'm going to be looking at this zone here in this zone here, because this is the unmitigated portion of the zone, right? You know, this would be the first unmitigated, uh, the wick the wick area is first unmitigated zone area 
And, and there's plenty of demand in that. And then I would go down to the uh, the extreme of the uh, origin for a possible touch if it breaks through the uh, this weight demand here. You with me so far? All right. So I'm going to watch this price action until it breaks that, right? And as soon as I see, as soon as I see that, I'm down here already. I'm down here and I marked my zone. Boom. All right. I marked this zone as well. All right. Because there's a uh, sell to buy wicks here. All right. So we might take a decisional price might come back to the decisional entry, you know, the decisional uh, uh, order block and uh, or come down lower for this one. And I took an aggressive entry here. Right. And uh, but as soon as it goes up this this way, I'm waiting. I go down to the one minute for my entry. I'm looking for price to pull back and give me my entry. All right. And I got my zones marked out real clear. All right. So uh, what I'm noting is that there was a solid uh, supply being broken here. That's why I looked at this entry. All right. And uh, I, I was hoping that price would do its thing, break and come back to the demand that is responsible for breaking this zone, breaking that supply. And it did, right? It went up pretty high, then it came down. I was like, yes, here we go, all right? And depending on what your trade management and everything is, uh, you know, you know I'm not gonna go explain the mines right now, but uh, this price, the price went all the way up to 2R and then, uh, turn around on me and uh, tap me out at break even. All right, no problem. I'm not even. I'm not even. You know, upset at that. All right, but it didn't tap me out at break even here. All right. Once it got to two R, I'm now I'm explaining my talk on uh, trading management. When it, once it got to two R, uh, I saw the turnaround. I took my initial risk out and uh, left the stop loss down here. So I gave room to breathe in case it wanted to reject from over here and uh price just decided now nah, we're gonna take this whole thing out so i got out of break even on that one no problem all right i'm in a live stream at lions den effects doing this here hey folks check us out at lions den effects it's free to join the premium discord right now all right you know that's usually pay right now we have a membership drive going and it is free, just to let you know. All right, come on down, join the te the free Telegram, and then DM or right, direct message Drunken Monkey uh, for a link for an invite into our Discord, so you can see what we're doing and uh, take part in some of our live streams, like the one I was in with this trade. All right, so price comes down, right? I'm looking down here. All right, and what am I what am I doing? I'm lining up. All right, I am lining up, and I'm waiting to see if we get some bullish price action once it gets down to this demand zone, all right? And uh, uh, we did get some bullish demand, uh, some bullish price action, right? We, I'm looking to make sure that price doesn't get violated here, all right? This would have been a great entry. This would have been a great entry, all right? Uh, once I saw uh, price doing this number, giving us a, a bullish in, in a, a bullish engulfer, Right. I'm looking to see if price goes up, uh, comes up to the uh, bottom and test the, 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 the bottom of this candle here. All right. And then comes back. That's that's a double. That's a, a, a confirmation entry for me, but it's a double confirmation entry. This would have been a tap and go. This would have been a tap and go. A, a great entry here. But where did I put my entry? I will show you. Boom. All right. I was waiting for the reaction once price gets back here. I want to see this base candle of this bearish and gopher pattern. I want to see that tested. I want to make sure price is going up because I just took a break even here. So I want to make sure this bearish momentum is done. Right. So price goes up. The, the demand holds. All right. And you might say, why didn't you get in over here when it comes back to this thing? I could have, 
no doubt. But I wanted to be sure. So I took a double entry. I mean, a, a double confirmation entry. Price moves up. We did get past this. And I was like, oh, they might be leaving without me. Aha! Supply pushes it back down here. Now, I could have left my pending right here, all right, and left my uh, demand down here. and But I was watching price, and I decided to take a manual entry. And once I saw a price uh, push up and form this uh, uh, bearish engulfer pattern, all right, I'm waiting for it to come back down and tap me in. I, it would come back down. It usually comes back down to test that a base candle of the bearish engulfer pattern. And this is a strong engulfer in so far as it engulfs the entire previous candle. So I'm waiting for it to come back down. It does tag me in, all right? And it almost tags me out, all right? So uh, from here, everything was uh, glorious. I got, you see that this is a five R trade. I look to make sure I have at least a five R that I can get. I need to see that that range is there. And uh, that's exactly what I did here. I, I said, if I take it down, take it up to this uh, supply where price has the potential to turn around, you know, I, I have enough room to get this 5R. And uh, turns out that I had plenty of room. And as soon as it broke so nicely here, I'm thinking, uh, to get back in this trade, all right, that I shouldn't have gotten out and that I should have held. But uh, those are the thoughts of uh, the old me. The old new me says, I got 5R, <laughs> okay? If I put 100 down here, I got 500 out of this, all right? If I put $1,000 down here, if I, you got a prop firm account or whatever, if I uh, wagered 1% of one, oh, 100K account, which would be $1,000, I got $5,000 for the day, all right? So whether it's $500 or $5,000, today, this this trade, uh, I don't know what I just did there, but today that trade worked. And I, I got that off the table and it's in my pocket, it's in the bank, okay? So anything that happens after this is fine. You know, I don't care how far it goes up. I got what I was supposed to get, okay? If I, uh, you know, uh, staying in and looking at more, this was a counter trend trade. I don't, I, I, as a rule, do not swing for the fences with counter trend trades. All right. I look for, personally, I look for 50, if I get in on a 15 minute uh, zone that is uh, uh, embedded or what do you call uh, nested in a four hour zone, then I'm only taking it to a 15 minute target. And that should have been aiming for these highs. All right, but I got my 5R. It was counter trend and I got what I needed. All right, so I'm good with it, all right? Yes, price went on uh, ahead and rocketed up. And this makes me uh, go back to the uh, earlier uh, part of that video where I was talking about the unfinished business of price and that uh, there was a, uh, not on the uh, four hour, but on the 15 minute, that was this uh, uh, imbalance here that I would, I feel price would want to uh, mitigate. And actually, that I was talking about up here. I was looking at up here. And so it was on the four hour. I'm sorry. Yeah, I got a little lost there. All right. Yeah, I was thinking that price wanted to do a come higher because uh, one of the things I didn't mention was if you see that price made this uh, swing low, swing high, swing low, right? All right, it broke the low, all right? Have we have we established the lower low yet? No, all right? But we did get a pullback. What kind of pullback was that? 38 inch, 38 uh, uh, percent, maybe a 38 percent. In this range of price, I'm looking for price to come up here. And it didn't do that yet. So I always have it in my head that, price could definitely uh, uh, not be finished with the pullback, the correction of this impulse. So uh, when I was looking over here and I was like, this don't seem like it 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 is going lower. It seems like it wants to go higher. 
that their price has unfinished business up here. Well, that's what it turned out to be. Uh, my gut feeling turned out to be right. And I don't always go with gut feelings, of course. I look for uh, what the price action says and what the structure says. You know, I, I read that. All right. But it gives me a gut feeling that, hey, you know, the, imp the, uh, the pullback, the correction is not over yet. All right. And as price merely, you know, slow foots its way down, I, I'm thinking, oh, no, that's definitely suspicious. We should have had a break by this time and, uh, and a break and a body close down to the downside to demonstrate that price wanted to go lower. That didn't happen. So I had the, my suspicions. And in my head, I was looking for price to uh, break higher. And that's exactly what it did. And uh, I think, it, it, do I think it's over? No, I don't. I do not think it's over. I think price uh, may pull back. I don't know if it, it gets back here. All right. I would love it to get back there, but we may stop here first and then go up and uh, finally mitigate the unmitigated zone here and rebalance that imbalance. That's what's in my head anyway. All right. And last time I said that, it happened. All right. So uh, take, for, take from it what you will. But uh, I'm going to leave that video so you can see it in its entirety. You'll see that I spent most of my time uh, arguing with myself about not believing it's going to go down lower. All right. Uh, the market is bearish, but I don't think. I'm not so sure it's going down. I think it's going up. It, that was basically the whole thing. So I'm sorry to be uh, confusing if I confused anybody, but uh, if you have any questions on this, I would love to hear, hear get your feedback. Please make sure you hit the like button if you like what I put out today. And uh, I do urge you to go and check that video. Give it a like, will you please? And uh, help the YouTube algorithm. And I will see you in the next video. And thank you for watching.